So here it is, the Tokyo Maru assault rifle. So I put this together, it's actually only take me about 45 minutes to put it together because I was just taking my time making sure that I got everything done properly. So how did I go from a box of bits to this? It was so easy. Let me talk you through it step by step. So the assault, my assault rifle is made up into three parts. Obviously your Tokyo Marui, the back part, and the receiver. It's so easy to put together, I have to tell you. Now, I'm not a gunsmith by any stretch of my imagination. I only started airsoft in about or a year, year and a half ago. Okay, so my knowledge about guns and everything are very limited. However, this was so easy to put together. It was unbelievable. Now, I bought this from a guy on um, Facebook. Okay and it's just cost me just over a hundred pounds okay but it is so easy to put together and it looks as you've seen yourself absolutely fantastic now the site obviously doesn't come with a gun okay this is mine okay so take that out of the equation okay how easy was it to put together easy first of all okay there's this part here okay now it also comes with a part like this. You get two parts. One says T, which I would imagine is for the TM, and one says C. So that might be for a other type of gun that this might fit, such as the ASG Mark 23. Okay. So there's this part here and this part. Screws and everything and bolts and that come with it. And I put that piece, as you can see the shape there, together okay simple as the next thing i done was i got the stock and i fitted the stock to this part okay took this base plate off a couple of hexa keys there okay took that piece off there's i don't know if you can see it but there's a cover there unscrewed that okay which allowed me to get into the center part it came with Something very similar to this, a big washer and a, a big screw bolt, okay? That goes down through the inside of there and screws onto here. Now I made sure before I put that in, I also put this guy on, my sling mount. This is a metal one, okay? Supplies you with a metal one. Absolutely beautiful. That went together, no problem whatsoever. Now this, this part here has... Um, one, two, three, four, oh, six. I thought it was only five. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. No, nope, it's definitely five. There's five positions on this. Okay, I got to do it later on. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, there we go, okay, so, that's the rear part, this part was very easy, it was a bit fiddly, but we got there in the end, okay, the first thing I done was put this piece on, okay, once again, it says TM there, turn it around so you can see it, okay, Tokyo, TM, okay, so that's the part, if you're using the Tokyo Marui, Marui. okay, you have to fit that piece in. Okay, very easy to do. Bolt in, uh, bolt there. Bolt there, not on the other side. Tighten it up. Now, this part was in two sections, okay? Very easy to put together. It comes with a little plate like that. And that fits in the inside of here. There's a groove. That fits in the inside of there. And that fits in the inside of there. And all you do is fit them in. Dry, dry tighten them up, okay? Don't tighten it up fully until you've got all them in and then push it together and then tighten it up. And as you can see, there's just a tiny little gap, but there's no creaking, okay? It was as simple as that. Then, to fit it in, the Tokyo Marui in, first of all, take the silencer off, okay? 
put the gun in like so. Just take your time fitting it in. Bump, and that's at home. Okay, and that's at home. You then take this screw here, okay, and you fit it in there, okay, and that holds. That's the front part of the gun. Nice and tight. Now the next part is a bit fiddly and I have to tell you and it has taken me a few goes to try and get this in but basically that part fits in like so okay and you put the bolts and the screws in as simple as that so once you've fitted the, the butt or sorry the stock okay Tighten these up. Okay, now, as I am right-handed, I made sure that those guys are on the opposite side so it's not rubbing against my face here. Okay, last but by no means least. Silencer in. Job's done. As easy as that. Honestly, it's not difficult. It's absolutely brilliant. It fits very well. There's a little bit of play, to be honest with you, but I'm quite glad about that because I really don't want it damaging the Mark 23. Okay, but nice and snug, to be quite honest with you. Quite happy with that indeed. As I say, it took less time showing you putting it together, but I will give you a piece of advice once again, is build these parts first. Don't try and build it with the gun in. Okay, because it just ain't going to work at all. It'll make it too heavy for you. All right, so keep the gun out until the last minute. Once you've got all the parts put together, it's as easy as that. Absolutely brilliant. I am absolutely over the moon with that. So, I've made an assault rifle out of my <laughs> TM23. Absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to get that out in the field. I really cannot wait. That is just going to be brilliant. And of course, the safety still works as well. Okay, the safety still works. Obviously, you can't get a hold of the the, the cocking part. Okay, you can't get a hold of that, obviously, because it's under cover now. But it doesn't inhibit the play of the gun at all. The gun fires no problem at all. I am over the moon. Absolutely cannot wait to get this out in the field. Really cannot wait. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. So there you are. Alec May. Alex May, sorry. On Facebook. There's a guy that I got me. He's here in the UK. Uh, I don't know if he exports outside the UK. Message him. See. He also gives you a few spare parts as well. Okay. I have to show you this. Okay. So I've got a few spare parts as well. Just in case I lose any. All right. So I'm over the moon. Absolutely over the moon with this. Beautiful absolutely beautiful only thing left now is uh, a bit of spray painting i think yeah a bit of spray painting on that and yeah job's done thanks very much for watching once again if you like what you see please like and subscribe okay catch you all soon bye now